Hi, and welcome to The Mortgage Expert. Today we're going to be speaking about foreclosures and short sales. In this market, some home buyers ask themselves, will purchasing a short sale or foreclosure end in disaster or yield a jackpot? And which type is best to go all in all with, a short sale or a foreclosure? There's really no cut and dry answer. Any certified uh, distressed property expert will let you know that it really depends on the buyer and what the buyer's priorities are. Before starting your search, you're going to want to play the cards right uh, as far as benefits and drawbacks go of either type of property, foreclosures or short sales. According to uh, Lender Processing Services, nearly 2.2 million homes in the U.S. were foreclosed on in August. On average, they sell for about 30% less than a non-distressed property. And in April alone, the median house uh, price of a move-in ready foreclosure was $185,000. Uh, non-distressed properties median price was about 267 300 Such deals are possible because home buyers can negotiate closing costs and price in foreclosure sales. And real estate investors and real estate agents uh, who buy foreclosures typically, they get it done faster than buying a short sale. And an investor can buy a home for rock bottom. Uh, the national average of a foreclosure that needs some work is around 107000 according to the uh, National Association of Realtors. Investors can rent out the home, resell it after fixing it up, keep it for uh, income, and five to 10% of the purchase price you can use to renovate that foreclosed home and you're still ahead of the game. Your time and trouble are worth something as, as much as your energy is, uh, so you will come out ahead. Now, are you sold on the idea of buying a foreclosure? Not so fast. Proceed with caution. There's potentially cost at that low price, uh, a damaged house, Inspectors in certain areas who are certified say that they've seen their share of ransacked home, homes. As a buyer, you can encounter scarred walls, carpets, appliances that were damaged by the former owner. And also, there's a lot of neglect due to culprits. Uh, turned off utilities coupled with the house sitting empty for months uh, can do their share of harm. However, some foreclosures are immaculate. And if you scope out the property that's run down, there's still hope. If a person is handy and you have a high tolerance for defects and you can fix this stuff, there are just a ton of opportunities out there. Uh, but in some foreclosures, the condition of the home may be the least of your worries. If you buy a foreclosure at an auction, you won't get to take a peek to see if the plumbing works, if the walls are cracked, or if there's a lien against the property. You'll be responsible for these cosmetic uh, work, for this cosmetic work, and any legal issues. Uh, so many investors research the property's history before the auction. Usually savvy investors take on these types of sales. If you're looking for a foreclosed home uh, priced in better con but in better condition, you might want to sift through the short sale market in your local area. A uh, short sale is still owned by the homeowner who owes more than the mortgage than the home is worth. Uh, they owe more on that mortgage. Uh, the short sale is, in my opinion, far better than buying a foreclosure because the home is generally in better condition because it's been occupied. Uh, utilities are maintained usually, the lawn is maintained, you know, those kinds of things. In August, the median price of a short sale home was 218500 By comparison, a non-distressed property's median price was about 267000 uh, So short sales often take a notoriously long time to close, uh, you know, but then enter the Federal Home Affordable Foreclosure Alternative Program, or HAFA, which helps the buying and selling by speeding up short sales. It's not perfect by any means, but it's created a timeline that we can hold the mortgage lenders accountable to. Uh, we, call, we, we recall recently uh, closing a short sale uh, in 58 days through HAFA, and we know of other distressed property experts who've been able to close these in 30 days or less. If possible, work with a seller through the HAFA program to speed up the closing process. Give me a call, 718-869-4795. I know we tried to run through this quick, but there's a lot of variables. If you want to be educated on this matter, give me a call. We'll sit down, free consultation. We'll find out what you can afford, how you can afford it, what type of realtor to use. And we'll see you next week on The Mortgage Expert. Thank you.